All right, rule of thirds. Do you know the rule of thirds? Nope. On a camera, you have a grid, a three by three grid. Yeah. And. Which is three in the middle three? No. Oh. And to frame a shot, then you should use the rule of thirds. So if you're taking a landscape photo, for example, then you would want the landscape to be like the horizon to be either on the lower third or the top third. Yeah. No, sometimes. So like if you know the rules, then you could break the rules. Mm. Um, I just. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, like, for example, with, like, portraits, then you should, like, line up one of the eyes on, like, one of the intersecting thirds. Okay. Yeah. Are we recording? Yeah, we are. All right. Are we not going to reintroduce ourselves? No, we are. We will. We haven't started yet. Oh, yeah. It's just are. the pre pre banter. What? Oh. Pre banter, yeah. Um, welcome back to Consistently Inconsistent, everybody. My name is Patrick. I'm Eva. This is her first Grant. time. What? Eva Grant. This is her first time on the show. What are your thoughts on consistently and consistent? How many episodes have you listened to? Um, What's your I favorite one? I think them all. You've uh, listened to them all. I'm a user. <laughs> I don't know, like 20? I the podcast. He doesn't even know how many there is. Okay, I've le- listened to at least 12. Really? Yeah. I did not think that. Yeah. I don't think. I didn't think you listened to a single one. No, yeah, I listened to most of them. Uh, I definitely thought that you would have been more acqu- accustomed to the way that we did things on the show. No, I always just thought you edited. I didn't realize no. that these things were just flow. No edited at all. I enjoyed one with Aiden anyway. I don't remember which one, but I remember giggling a lot. Yeah, was there was one about a spider or something? Or am I remembering something about a spider now? I don't know. Holding that very close to your lips. And then. Yeah. Um, so it's your fa- first time on the show. I'm going to start with the first question. No. Oh. What question are you going to ask? Well, I'm not going to ask it until I'm allowed to ask it. Well, tell me. Whisper it. No. <laughs> no, it has, to, it has to be a public thing. In case you guys weren't aware, Eva is my wife of nearly a year. Yeah, almost a year. The first and, one. And uh, yeah, so we're back, baby. It's crazy. It's the first episode in Asians. Ages. All right. So we asked people, I asked people on my Instagram to ask some questions for Eva and I. Because this is our date night activity. So it is. uh, (laughs) And um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to open up. The questions. In case you're coming on here just because I'm here and you don't actually listen to Consistently Inconsistent, um, this podcast is very chaotic. It started off for Patrick in lockdown, was it? Or just before lockdown or something like that. On that anyway. And basically he just starts recording with his friends and posts it. Hey, shout out to Moraid. Shout out to Moraid. For real. First donor of the hero. podcast. <laughs> She's sponsoring this podcast. I think she's sponsoring this episode. <laughs> right, thank you for your donation. Um, thanks, chat. As say a prayer for, prayer for Aunt Maraid Fleming. Say, let's all say Hail Mary for her. Not right now, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, why did I ask questions on Instagram? I'm getting distracted by Instagram. Yeah, so um, now you know the podcast. Not going to be probably off the inspiring, but you're just going to be part of our conversation. Um... So can I ask my question or no? Sure. I can? Yeah. Okay. I have a prop. This is Erin's contribution. She wants you to eat this and explain to people how you were eating it. What do you mean? How? Have you eaten one of those before? A cab- yeah. A cr- this is a Cadbury's cream egg for the Cadbury listeners. Cadbury cream egg. So how do you eat a Cadbury cream egg? It's actually a thing that people eat differently. I just bite right into it. Okay. And then what do you do after that? I continue biting right into it. Oh, let's see. Okay. It's a bit cracked. He's just looking at it. Right, he has went for about half. Chomped it off. Just yep. chewing it. Well, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, basically, there's a debate. Well, not a debate. Like, it's like a Kit Kat or like a Milky Bar. Milky Way Bar. You know, some people like to eat the outside and then the inside. Or eat a little bit of the outside and then the inside. Or just bite it like a barbaric person. 
Um, I totally thought Paddy would have been the kind of person that bit half and then, or like bit the top off and then sucked all the cream out. That's what sand people do. No, the cream is too sugary. Yeah, it's so creamy. I don't like them. It's not creamy. It's sugary. Like yeah. it's so rich. Yeah. That you need to have the chocolate with it. So I normally just eat it in like yeah, two bites. Wow. He eats it in two bites, Aaron. Do you think she'll listen to this one? She'll probably get as far as this and be like, okay, I've seen all I need to yeah. um, But who knows? Dad and Simon say she sat lies on the couch every night, so. Huh? Dad and Simon see them see her on a walk every yeah, night. Yeah, shout out to Paul. He's a huge listener of the show. Oh, yeah, it's true. Big fan of Paddy's. Mm-hmm. Epic. Yeah, he quoted a number of my YouTube videos during the speech at a wedding. speech, yeah. Quite impressive, actually. You're going to need, like, a drink of water or something after that. Oh, yeah, shoot. We don't have one. I've got cold tea. Hmm? I could, I've got some cold tea. No. You could do it. Do you want me to go get you a glass of water? No, it's okay. Oh, it's painful so, to think of you not drinking a glass of water after eating cream egg. We have lots of questions from one particular person. Known as Lily Prong. Oh, I was going to say Sean Hickland. Or Peter Ahern. No. Like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine questions are from Lily. Jeez, woman. And then we have three other questions. And they didn't know who was on the podcast? They didn't know it was No, they knew. Oh. First question. Oh, Patrick, stop chewing that in the microphone, please. First question is... I'm not going to ask that one. What? Why? How? Okay. No, you're not allowed to look. Aw. Spoilers. How have you thanked Lily for being so influential in the early days of your relationship? I said lots of prayers for her. There you go. And I've maintained a friendship with her. This is a good one. I really like this question. Sorry, Lily. If you can see any band slash artist dead or alive in concert, who would it be? Oh. Gosh. Part of me wants to like, you know, can I... Okay, no, that's not the question. I was wanting to like say something like I would like to experience witnessing the stripes for the first time when I was like 13 and fell in love with guys with guitars for the first time in my life so that was a really powerful moment for me and uh, I would love to experience all the feelings again but it's not about like which concert would I see again it was just like who would I see yeah um I have Dead so alive. many. Yeah, see, I'm not a big music person, so this is a hard one for me. At the moment, 21 Pilots. Oh, yeah, well, that's 100%. easy for you, yeah. I would love to see them. They would be fantastic. I would also love to see Hans Zimmer. Oh, live. yeah. But I would love to see Hans Zimmer while watching a film, like one of those live concert, like one of those live orchestras while watching the movie mm. well, that they're doing the soundtrack to. Mm. Soundtrack to. Love to experience that. Yeah, that's fair. Be cool. Uh, I can't think of any dead people that I would like to see live. Weirdly enough, I've kind of always wanted to go to like a Bruno Mars concert, but maybe like a small, like intimate, cool one. Weird. Yeah, that is weird. Um, Do you think you'd be good at setting people up on a blind date? Any success stories? Yeah, there was that one guy. Remember him? Who? That one guy. We and the he's girl. Lying. You, you can tell. A liar. You can tell Eva has never been to drama classes. I do. I have. Because she doesn't. I actually really got the lead act hmm? in a play. Okay. Did you ever do improv though? No, I don't know. No. I knew that you were lying. I just don't encourage lying. I wasn't lying. I was doing yeah. a bit. You were lying. You do lots of bits on podcasts. Um, no, I don't think I've ever set anyone up. And I'm really bad at calling things like that because I always give the girl the benefit of the doubt that she's not actually flirting and she's just a flirty person. And that the poor guy's going to get heartbroken anyway, so. Not worth Interesting. it. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in love. Oh. 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 Just kidding. Um, right. <laughs> Follow up. What's one thing you did not expect about marriage? Oh, wow. Are you going to answer to Yeah, I'm thinking. 
I think sometimes. Um, one thing I did not expect. Oh my gosh, the odds are crazy tonight. I've become. I don't think I ever used to yawn while well, you just yawned. In this case, the audience. I'm gonna zoom into that. <laughs> I did it in an interior yawn. No. <laughs> Learn how to do okay. it, man. Learn how to do it. Um, you I just saw my little nostrils, didn't you? You're like <laughs> swallowing it. Um, what was the question? What do you? One thing you did not expect about marriage. Um, I think you hear all these cliches about marriage, and. And like, especially the bad cliches about marriage, and you're like, oh yeah, but that won't happen for us. Like, no, I'm not as naive as you, but what? Well, I am in many ways. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I feel like there were some aspects of marriage that I was, was like, yeah, no, we'll be, we'll be all good. Um, but lots of bickering. Yeah. Lots of learning yeah. about the other person. Like, yeah, you, you know, you date. And you feel like, yeah, I know this person. And then, yeah, it's so true that once you start living with them, it's a whole different story. You learn so much more. <laughs> Go on, you want to spill something? What do you want to spill? I don't want to spill anything. Okay. I like to keep things clean. Mm. Something that surprised me about marriage, yep. that's the question. You did not expect. Oh, I didn't expect. Um... I didn't expect how I, great no I would be. I didn't expect to realize how awful I am as a person. I didn't realize to be so humble. Oh yeah, like I think just living with someone, being with someone all the time, and just like seeing how you hurt people in little ways, or like seeing your thought pattern when someone upsets you, like like lots of little things. But like I'm just like gosh. Especially because obviously I love Patrick so much that anytime I heard him, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm you can a say bad person. Me. I love you so much. I love you so yeah. much. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> because I love you so much. Wow. <laughs> um, I don't expect, like, I didn't expect that when I was, like, thinking about how I hurt you, yeah. like, to be, like, so, like, oh my gosh, I actually thought that, or oh my gosh, I actually did that. And, yeah, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's very humbling. Okay. You make me aware of my many, many flaws. Yeah. In fairness, though, you are a very loving person. You're very good at choosing love. Oh, thanks. Anyway, uh, how much money do you have? Right now? Well, that's that's one of the questions. Um, like, probably like 630 in cash. And what the heck, man? About... You're just going to go out and tell I'm going to bleep all of that. <laughs> in, in my bank. <laughs> With 600 in savings. Really Actually, probably crazy. like minus 1,000 in savings. It's crazy, man. I also have a loan out. So really like minus 12,000. <laughs> what were you going to say? Like none? Do you think these are good questions? <laughs> That's one of the questions. So far, yeah. I enjoyed the money question, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's fun. Do you have a married couple that you look up to slash go to for advice? Uh, no, we're just winging it. Okay, sure. Who do you think? Um, I can't really think of anyone, actually. No, I go to, like, different people sometimes. I go to my sister Megan sometimes for things. Well, no, not really. She, that's just more about medical things than marriage things. Yeah, there's nobody... Like, I feel like, yeah, there's lots of friends that we'll, like, talk to. Yeah. You know? I, like, we luckily things. have a lot of friends our age who are going through a lot of the same... Like, not yeah, the same yeah, things, but, like... A million friends. Early stages of marriage... Um, but like everyone experiences different things yeah. in their marriage as much as everyone goes with, like we all have the same little arguments and all that like but people are in different seasons and arguing about different things and struggling with other things I feel like it's it's one thing about us is that this question I feel like comes from a, a place of like if you're in community or like surrounded by other people that are like you mm then like yeah it would be really easy to have like a certain couple that you just like really like get along with and mm. go to and stuff like that and, but we don't really live around many other people <laughs> 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 yeah so alone. Uh, no yeah. we don't live in a like a very we don't live like we don't a have a buffet <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, but, yeah. so 
you know, like we're just very in a way isolated. Yeah. In terms of I mean other for non Catholic people listening to that, like we're perfectly normal. Like we're surrounded by people, but like this particular person is asking and like Yeah, do in you a have a Catholic context. Yeah. Also I want to add to that and be like I th- I think we're very like logically minded in in regards to like we're like we know our marriage isn't perfect and we don't think it's necessarily gonna get there, but we're like we know in fifteen years time that we're gonna be a lot yeah. We're going to know each other a lot better. We're not going to have these little arguments. So we're okay with having them for now. And, like, that's just what it is. So, like, this, we're doing marriage perfectly fine because mm. we're doing it our way. Mm. Praying about it and all those things. Mm. Nice. Thanks. Is there anything you miss about your season just dating each other? Yeah. What? Lots of little things. You wrote me love letters. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, I think that's probably the biggest thing. Yeah. It's like just the, the intentionality, intentionality of yeah. dating each other, especially because like for like a lot of our relationship then like long distance. Yeah, there was a good bit of distance between us. It wasn't long distances in like different countries. So we were very blessed in that way. So we were on opposite ends of but one country. Opposite ends of the country. Which definitely like it was difficult. And especially and like, because uh, yeah, we because we were busy. on net, like we were both trying to be intentional with other people. Yeah call to a different group of people so the time that like we did spend with each other Mm -hmm. then it was just like very yeah intentional and we we really made sure to make the most of it whereas like now we're just with each other all the time so it's a lot harder to be intentional because it feels like you're always with each other yeah so you do things like make silly podcasts and get into fights about it i just stabbed um (laughs) I'm gonna do like a little black and white throwback there, like fun to like where you walked out of the room. Oh, <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> I didn't walk out of the room. What are you talking about? Um, I'll leave crying. How does one find someone to? F- is there anything else that you miss about dating? Um, good. Sorry. Yeah, I think there is. Um. I miss being able to call the guys good looking and feeling like I'm cheating on Oh my god. <laughs> Just kidding. If anything, I'm more secure in myself and in our marriage now that I feel like I do it more often. Um, is there anything else I can about? No, not really. I feel like you cooked for me more. No, I feel like I cook for you now more than I ever did. Oh, I don't feel that way at all. Awkward. Well, I love our marriage. Really? Yeah, I'm happy to be married. Yeah. Yeah, dating was great. Yeah, happy to be past that season. Marriage is great. Death would be great. Go from there. (laughs) How does one find someone to fall in love with asking for a friend? I didn't really mean to. What? (laughs) Didn't mean to find you. Oh, yeah. You found me, you chose me. Yeah. I just kind of accepted it. Yeah. So how do you, you should answer this question. How does one find someone to fall in love with? Such a vague question. Um, Keep trying. What? Can you yeah. being open? Yeah, like I mean, just go on dates. Just go on lots and lots and lots of dates. No. Yeah. No. Say yes. Yeah, like say yes, but guys don't ask girls on dates. Right. Like so, say yes to the ones that do. No, say yes to opportunities where you can meet new people. If you get to the point where, like, you know, put yourself out there and talk to the guy that maybe you didn't, you just plan on being friends with. Okay. And if it ends up being a date, great. Like, what's wrong with yes the place of going lots and lots? Because, of like, I was single and, like you, like, you were single, you don't get asked on loads of dates. Okay, but if you do, say yes to Okay, it. that's great if you do, but I'm thinking, real, like, this, she wants a realistic answer, or she or he wants a realistic answer. <laughs> so, well, like, they're um, asking for a friend. Oh, uh, well, they, they, them. <laughs> Because I think, and don't be afraid to put yourself out there and and tell somebody when you're interested about them. Mm. If you are a woman and you want to be pursued, then sometimes you just need to be a bit more forward and be like, hey, ask me out on a date. Mm. I'm not going to ask you and I'm putting the ball in your court. If you want to ask me out, great. If not, great. I'm I'm saving my heart of a year's worth of thinking that they're going to ask me out on a date. Yeah. Don't waste your time on anything like that, really. Like, as much as we as women love the attention, 
like please stop like please stop after a month if a guy hasn't asked you out a date or if, if you're questioning whether he has feelings for you or not like honestly detach walk away or tell them and look for the next guy no they're usually clueless at that point they haven't done that they ain't worth it baby no that's so true <laughs> this is the difference mean. between men and women um so yeah we'll go with my advice on this false put yourself out there but um you don't have to say yes to every single date if you don't want to no you don't have to but yeah. if you want to find love then you need to know what you want in a person to f- like who you're gonna fall in love with yeah well like the qualities yeah you know like i dated so many so many women before you not so many <laughs> like three <laughs> one of them was a special friend <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to hear a player. As you approach your first year, this is from my mother. Someone else, oh. As you approach your <laughs> first mother. year anniversary, talk about the ups and downs of it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Why is it? We don't have to. Okay, on to the next one. Yeah. No, I'm joking. We have to talk next about the ups and downs. No. Ups and downs. So many ups and downs. So many. Oh, goodness. For the first change. nine months, we lived with the U.S. family. Oh. Listen to this. Father and we love you. <laughs> you were great, <laughs> but it was no. It was. It was a very blessed yeah. time. We were blessed to be able to live somewhere and for sure not have to pay that much rent. <laughs> 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 and um, yeah, just things like that. But it, it was also incredibly challenging. What are you laughing at, mate? <laughs> I'm just laughing. Um, yeah, no, it was good. It was. It was tough because we were, like, to feel like we had our own space or to, like, really have, like, an intentional conversation or anything yeah. like that. Like, we were really stuck within the four walls of the bedroom. And yeah. then we renovated a spare bed in our yeah. still living room. and ended up moving out a Like, I think that, like, most of our conversations at that time, uh, it was specifically, like, arguments. Mm. Like, I felt like I was always using the excuse. I just really find it difficult because we're here with your family. It doesn't feel like my own space. I feel like I can't do things. I feel like doing chores is difficult because it's not my space. I feel like cooking is difficult because it's not my space. So on and so forth. Even I, I lost motivation to cook as well. Like yeah. Just because sharing a kitchen with other people. And- so, so yeah, because of that. And so, and then, you know, like as it continued, then I was like, maybe I'm just a horrible person and like not actually doing anything. But once we moved into this house... Then, our marriage has transformed yeah it was just like okay no we were right yeah it was just because we didn't have sure. space so if you're living with the family the in-laws right now move out quick yeah run, but at the same the time because of it we were able to save yeah. money and go on trips for sure and do fun things as a couple yeah i got like, so much family time with my family like yeah. i did as well which i was really grateful for yeah. because realistically that's the last time i'm ever gonna live with them yeah um, so yeah lots got of ups spoiled and roast dinner every sunday we still do yeah <laughs> Lots of ups and downs for sure, um, but uh, yeah, I feel like yeah, like kind of like you were saying earlier. Then yeah, like a lot of it was just like expect expectations about the marriage, mm. and just having to constantly remind ourselves of we're, we've been we've known each other for like four years, yeah, and like in a relationship for. Two. Nearly three. Yeah. Um, married for what? Two. Married for nearly a year. Yeah. You know, so it's like we don't have to have everything figured out. Mm. We don't have to know each other perfectly. And yeah, let's let's call each other on. And, and even though in that moment, like you could logically like fathom that, sometimes it was still so frustrating because yeah. it was like, why don't you just understand me? Like yeah. you are my husband, you're supposed to know yeah. this. Um, yeah, definitely very challenging. I think like my, my favorite up from living in this house is just like our conversations have honestly just gotten so much better. Like we just sat down on the couch. It's like a peak moment in my month of February. We sp- sat down on the couch someday at the end of February and we actually just like talked. We just like looked at each other's eyes and talked. And then we ended up playing a game, like a silly game about like movies and actors, remember? Yeah. I just thought it was just like really, that was a real sign for me that we had like moved out and that we had our own space and that we had in our free time that we just like, 
could actually just be two friends who sat down and like talked and like hung out you know friends on me everyone i love being your friend it's my favorite part about being married to you maybe smelly bum maybe maybe all right jody maybe right love you mommy is that it are we finished i think so okay Uh, do you have anything more to say um ups and downs maybe I could make a whole podcast on that to be honest but oh yeah definitely yeah but I guess we'll leave it there sure sad Bella Grant asks maybe I shouldn't say her name too late should I be a nun or get married any single men looking for love talk to me first what's that guy's name I won't say it actually oh. <laughs> NM is that his mm-hmm. initials NM huh? no no. I just make that up though. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, don't do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um he's on the net or anything. It's an old past love. I thought. Anyway, um you should ask the Lord to be honest. Just be present where you are right now and Bella, I know that you've like gone on to sermon retreats, stuff like that for nunnery. You just have to, part of discernment is acting on the discernment. So when you're finished with net, well, th- the biggest thing is finish net. Yeah. Do net, finish it. That's your current net, calling. Yeah, that's your current vocation. So do that well. The Lord will bless it. Um, oh, PJ's going to watch Dune 2 with Pops tonight. Jealous. He's already seen it. I know. I want to go see it again. I can't believe you're reading messages as we're doing this. I just saw them. Uh, <laughs> and then, once, yeah, once you're done with net, either go join a convent, see how it goes. If you're supposed to be there, God will make that clear through your discernment and the convent's discernment. Everyone's discerning from what I've learned with working with Dominicans. Mm-hmm. You don't have to join the Dominicans necessarily. You can join anyone, but you just have to join a convent. You might, like, or, it's a big deal, but also, like, realistically, if you enter, you know, last three months, it's only three months of your life, you know? Or and you best. finish net and a guy asks you out and you go out and you see how that goes. And if you break up, then maybe another guy will ask you out. And then you do that. But the only way to actually discern is to do the thing. Yeah. And it's like net thing of like, don't discern to interview, interview to discern, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like stop overthinking it and keep praying. Like actually just surrender it, go for it, and the Lord will do the rest. Yeah. In your heart. Yeah. That goes for everyone out there, not just Bella, but Bella. Talking to you, baby. I'd love to hear about how amazing your wedding photographer was, asks Brother Sean Blackwell. <laughs> okay, uh, one of our wedding photographers. I genuinely... JP was unreal, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> he did so good. I love the colors. So wow. Oh my gosh. Candid, like, yeah, so good. Yeah, he was a great wedding photographer. Uh, the guy who said pancakes was a bit weird, but you know. Oh, yeah. Cheap. Yeah. 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 You were white. How rude. You know, stealing the show. Literally. You were alright though. Photos came out okay. We've got a few of them. Yeah. Framed. A few. No, I don't think we have any actually. <laughs> <laughs> I sent them all I sent them all away actually. Um yeah. Uh excuse me, sorry everyone. That was rude. So there you go. That was the first podcast. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, those are all the questions. And we're going to keep it short today. We're not going to... Because it's like 10 o'clock. Even. Yeah. Um, it's quite late. If you want me on the show again. I have to go. Come with Eva Grand. Show. Oh, there's too much happening right now. Got to pack. <clears throat> um. So, yeah, that was great. That was good. I can't remember I how we it. finished these things. I did it, Patrick. You did it. Thanks. Proud of you. A lot of stuff. It was a tough start but we got there. That would be sometimes. It does. Sometimes there was that, there's one podcast that I think of where Aiden and I had to stop recording because we were actually just being so rude to each other and mm. mean and, and snappy that we were just like, okay, let's stop for like 10 minutes, come back, and then go. Mm. So we did that. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening, guys. Thank you. Come back again. Viewers, listeners, if you want to... Ask more questions about our relationship. You aren't happy with any of our answers? Send us an email at patrickspodcast55 at gmail.com. 
Oh, didn't know it has that podcast. Um, yeah. If you want merch, it's probably still there. Redbubble. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Um, let's see. What else do we say? We've got Instagram, Consistently Inconsistent Show. And uh, uh, what's what's the saying? Don't forget to... Check your privilege. Check your privilege. Wow, I remembered. I was just... it was on, I was on the cuff. Three, two, one. Check your privilege. Check, um, oh, check your check privilege. Check privilege. Huh? Check. Privilege. Check, check, check. Privilege. Check, check, check. Oh, funky rainbow as well. Funky Cue rainbow. Cue, Cue funky, funky rainbow. rainbow. <laughs> Bye. Mm-hmm.